village to the other. Never wanted me to go to school. Eventually he was forced to let me go to school. And while in primary two, I decided to pay him a visit. And he said, you will never go back to that school. What happened when the school resumed? A clerk of the court came, arrested him, arrested me, and they took me back to school, and they took him into prison. The following day, he was taken before the judge, and he was fined 10 shillings in those days. He said he didn't have any money, and my maternal grandmother, who was a small trader, paid the ten shillings, and off he went and said, well, Allah is in house of means, you know, reporting you to, to God. I never saw him until he died. And my maternal parents brought me up, finished my primary school, went to secondary school, and then to the university. Now, the most important and fundamental right of any youth, wherever, whenever, whatever, is the right to education. Therefore, I take very, very strong exception to the strike by ASU and to the inability of the government to resolve that crisis. It will never happen under a PDP government or under an administration that I oversee. Do you know why I said that? I have been investing in education for the past 30 years. I have built a nursery, I started primary, secondary, university. We have never gone on strike for even one day. So if me, Atiku Abubakar, can establish nursery, primary, secondary school, university, and yet, no strike for one day. Why should we have strike by university teachers? I want to pledge that I will work with university authorities and government to make sure we end this incessant strike by us. Having said that, because it is fundamental to your growth, it doesn't matter whether you are in politics, whether you are in business, whether we're in whatever you feel you are. The fundamental right of every youth and every citizen is to be educated. And therefore, it is the responsibility of any responsible government to make sure that right is given to every Nigerian, to every youth in this country. 
Having said that, of course, I have made many public pronouncements of my intention to have a youth inclusive government. This is because it is our responsibility to provide you the opportunities to acquire the training and also the experience to take over from us, your parents, just as the chairman said. So the youth of this country, I believe that the PDP provides the best platform for you to actualize your individual, collective, and national aspirations. I therefore call on the youth of Nigeria to join the PDP, to support the PDP, to return PDP to power so that we can rescue this country and make sure we also rescue the most important segment of our population, and that is the youth. I wish today were not Friday, because I like to engage you in a dialogue to ensure that I motivate you. Whatever you decide to do, it doesn't have to be politics. But if it is politics, I want to assure you that it is also a career. I started politics as a student union leader from the university. I finished. I did not have the patience to work for government for a very long time. I quit, went into business, went into politics, and I have been in politics since I was before. I mean, as a career, before I was even 40. And up till now, I tried to be a governor four times. I couldn't. You must have perseverance. You must be dodged. Four times I wanted to be a governor. And the military were stopping me, simply because we were protesting together with the chairman against the military regime. We are lucky even to be alive. Many of our contemporaries were killed. Many of our contemporaries were killed. So it is a career if you want to. If you don't want to, you want to make it a part time, you go in when you fail, you come back again, you go and do something else, it's all there for you. So, but those who want to make it a career, when you start a career, you don't immediately go to the top, you grow. I want to urge you to have the patience to grow. President Biden was in the Congress for 40 years before eventually becoming vice president, from vice president before eventually becoming president. So I want to congratulate you on the celebration of this uh, international year of the youths. And I hope this year will usher in an administration of PDP by next year. We should be celebrating together as a government. And then by the time we celebrate as a government, we will line up the youths that we would have appointed into the government. You will see them before you here. So, your excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. I wish you a very, very successful celebration today. God bless you all. PDP! PDP! Ah, ah, you are not answering me now. PDP! PDP! Power to the youth! Power to the women! Power to Nigerians! Thanks for checking out Symphony on YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and like our videos for updates.